Hey Erica, how's it going? How did M30 go today? I'm going to do a version of M30 today. I don't typically like setting up this way because it's super dark, but until my ethernet cord comes, I decided to take the path of closest to the computer since yesterday kind of went crazy. <laughs> but we will have a fun prehab longevity warm up, and then we have our mayhem athlete body weight or minimal equipment to work out or if you want to do the bonus version i'm going to do the bonus style version uh, but that's taken from mayhemathlete.com they have some awesome daily programming if you guys need programming but we are going to start off with like i said our prehab or longevity warm-up we like to uh use our warm-up with movements that are going to help us to move well for a long time that's why i call it longevity warm-up you can do all sorts of warm-ups, but we might as well choose one that's going to help us move better and stay moving, right? I'll beat the dead horse with that. <laughs> Just as a reminder to myself, too. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Erica, yesterday's workout was so rough. Willie, how's it going? I mean, like, I am sore from yesterday's workout we did a oh my gosh like a two-part piece yesterday that was super challenging oh my atlanta <laughs> but it was good but like i said we always have body weight version too so although i thought the body weight work workout was a good one as well so let's get right into this uh into our prehab today i usually do a round with you guys and then i do the rest as post tabs meaning you can do this before workout after workout or maybe that's all you have time for today. But this today, everyone loves booty games. And we're doing step ups today in the workout. So why not have a little, as they call it, <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat, a little booty game in our warm up. So we're going to be doing some hip thrusts or glute bridges. Then we're going to do one of my favorite uh, movements from Knees Over Toes guy, Ben Patrick, for our knee health. We're going to do some VMO squats or heel elevated squats you can do them as air squat style or with weight and then we're going to go to side plank right and side plank left because if you ever want to make time stand still hold a plank <laughs> as we continue to say a plank minute is not like a regular minute so we're going to throw in some side planks that's going to wake our core up and our booty so we can be ready for those step ups and sit ups uh, i'm going to add a little bonus movement in there i don't have a place to um we have a handstand walk option, a bear crawl option, but I'm gonna throw in a handstand hold into our workout today as well, because like myself, handstand walking on pavers would be a, a little bit of a liability <laughs> to my face <laughs> or the rest of the body parts. They're a little bit slick is what I mean by that. Erica, what did you think of yesterday? 17, that is awesome, Erica. I don't know how long it took yesterday. I think if I looked at the time, I, I don't even know. Willie, you're a trooper for moving into the second part of that workout. If it wasn't for you guys, and the computer was going bonkers, oh my gosh. Erica, that's smart. She said rested seven. Did one 950 on the first round, 920 on the second, nice. Yeah, full rest is totally, makes a lot of sense in that workout. Oh my gosh, yeah, Erica, that's awesome. <laughs> Gary, Gary in the house. Gary, what do we have today? Is it softball? Bowling's all done, right? All right, so pre up warm up today. We are going to do, we're going to start with our single leg hip thrust. Sarah, oh my gosh, Sarah, I can't wait to see you on Friday. 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 I'm so excited. All right, so we have a single leg hip thrust or glute bridge, you know, Friday, Friday. Everyone always talks about booty games. It's really booty activation, but that leads to booty games if that's what you're in it for, which isn't a bad thing. I totally get it. Oh, Erica, yesterday's was just, I'm still not the same. Part of my soul is over there on that mat from yesterday's workout. <laughs> Willie, I was so impressed when you did. Diana, how's it going? Diana, those hangs with the vest, you're a champ. Oh my gosh. 
Diana's working on that hang strength, and she threw on a weighted vest the other day. Holy mackerel. All right, guys, let me grab this bench real quick. Actually, can we be patient, my, my dear, dear friends? Let me grab my uh, wedge for our squats, too. It'll be like 20 seconds, I promise. And then we'll get moving. Willie, I'm so amazed that you, you were pioneering it. Thank goodness we have a single dumbbells optional today crew <laughs> and that's as a bonus oh you always say hi to grumpy forest diana checking this pacemaker i get that my dad has one of those are starting with the single leg hip thrust or glute bridge. So when you're doing this, that's a little bit windy here today, so if my voice disappears as I take a couple of steps back. <laughs> Gary, I'm not at the doctor, Diana, but I am grumpy. Why are you grumpy? Do you need a snack, Gary? <laughs> Gary, what's your favorite snack? Do we need to get it for you? All right, guys, so when you're doing the single leg glute bridge, I really want you to think about squeezing those cheeks. So you want to squeeze those glutes, that booty in that posterior as you're doing these. And you're trying to get that, keep that pelvis nice and flat. You hear me say, keep your pelvis neutral, but you're going to be squeezing your booty and trying to get that, your pelvis up parallel. You want to be parallel to the ground. <laughs> Willie, Willie said, uh, have a great day, Diana. We'll be thinking of you and Grumpy. <laughs> Willie said, I needed a pacemaker after yesterday's workout. Willie, it was so hard. I still, you guys, if you want yesterday's workout, it's not for the faint of heart. Oh, chocolate. It's grandma's secret, Diana. Gary, we need to get you some chocolate. All right, guys, so if you do not have chocolate, you can uh, a place to elevate your shoulders for the hip rest. You are always welcome to do a glute bridge. Oh, oh, Gary, are you guys doing okay from the storm? Oh my gosh, tell us everything, please. Ale, how's it going? All right, let me move this back. Sorry. All right, so what this is going to look like, guys, is you will have those steps or those shoulder blades on your bench. Or, let me show you body weight burn real quick. You do not have a place to do a bench to elevate on. You can just lay that back flat on the ground, raise those hips to the sky, squeezing those glutes. But what you're going to do here is you're going to extend one leg out at the bottom there like that. Squeeze those glutes, that posterior, try to keep that pelvis neutral, not tilted. If you see one side sagging, you might have a little bit of a little muscle imbalance there. So that would be your body weight version. If you have a bench, you're going to elevate those steps. You'll have those arms extended out like a T, like so. So I'm going to move down just a smidge. So I'm just elevating my shoulder blades. And what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to extend one leg, squeeze that booty, and raise those hips. But I'm trying to keep those hips parallel to the ground. So. You're getting that core balance and stabilization by keeping that foot elevated and you're really really going to feel whenever foot you have grounded you're really going to feel that booty that glute on that side working so in this case i have that right leg extended that left foot on the ground and oh boy 
the birds already. We have ten of those hip knots on each side. You can squeeze those glutes. You can pause for a second at the top if you want to make it a little more challenging. But you're going to have ten of those on each side. And sweet mother of pearl. My booty's on fire from showing you three of them. <laughs> so, single leg hip thrust or glute, single leg glute bridge. You're going to do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. You can hold that pause for a second at the top if you want a little extra bonus, a little extra burn there. Will, are you doing the booty gains today? <laughs> oh, Gary said he just had a butter finger. I thought you were saying you were butter fingers, Gary. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Gary, oh, we were praying for you guys. Like damage from around your house and area or surrounding areas. I've, I've been praying for everyone involved in the tornadoes in Kentucky. It just looks in around. It's been so crazy. We are praying, praying for you guys. I'm in Cocoa Beach right now. Oh, after work, yes, yes. Well played, Willie. Well played. Willie, did you do M30 at lunch? Gosh, Gary, I bet. Are, do you guys have power right now? Do you have a generator? All right, team. After your single leg glute bridge or hip thrust, you're going to go into one of my favorites, the from knees over toes guy, VMO squats. So this is for your knee health. We're strengthening all those muscles around your knees. Your big muscles and your shins, calves, that sort of thing. So if you do not have a wedge, that's okay. You can elevate your heels on something else. You can grab a plate, a dumbbell, maybe not a house plate, but a plate, you know. Um, this is just not the best angle today, but I'm doing my best. Let's see if I can angle this down a little bit so you guys can see better. All right, so really, Gary, another storm? Are you serious? Holy mackerel. Oh my gosh. I mean, is it supposed to be as bad? All right, guys, so again, if you do not have a wedge, you can elevate that heel on a dumbbell or something equivalent. So you can elevate your heels like this. You can even move against the wall, you um, a step. But the idea here is you want to get your knees over your toes. So usually we think about initiating that squat by pushing our hips back. When we're doing this VMO squat, we want to actually think about driving those knees over those toes first. So I have really tight shins, which I think is what causes some of my knees aches and pains. So even that driving them forward there, I feel like tightness in the ankles and So you can elevate those heels. That's going to allow you to get deeper into that squat as we work that range of motion. We're going to do 10 here. I'm going to drive it, my knees forward. You can have a weight if you're very, very comfortable with these, but I would say it's body weight if you've never done them before. But if you need a lightweight as a counterbalance, you can do that. We're working on full range if you can get to the bottom of that squat, but if you feel any pain, then stop. We don't want to cover it at all. We only want to go to a place where you are pain free. For example. So we'll have 10 via most squats. These are great points for us too. I ran this morning. I want to get to my ankles and shins. Two more. And ten. So you have a ten hip thrust on the left, ten hip thrust on the right, ten VMO squats. Larry, good afternoon. Oh, Erica, I need all the knee exercises today after yesterday. So again, prehab warm up. It's going to be three times through this. I'm going to do one time through with you guys. But those ten single leg hip thrust or glute bridge, ten on the right, ten on the left. Maybe one second pause at the top for a little bonus. Again, who doesn't love booty gains? Well, maybe there's some people. And then we have those 10 VMO squats or heel elevated squats. And now, if you want to find a way to make 45 seconds feel like five minutes, get into a plank. 
<laughs> Alas, we are going to activate our core, gang. <laughs> so, we're going to have 45 side plank on the right, then we're going to have 45 side plank on the left. Little point of performance here, guys, is I want that shoulder stacked over that elbow. And you're going to try not to be sagging that booty towards the ground. We want to create a nice neutral spine line. If it's too much to have your feet together resting on each other stacked like this, you can always drop that foot behind you as a little bit of a kickstand. Or if 45 seconds is too long, just if you're newer to the fitness journey, you can accumulate 45 seconds, rest as needed, but that's going to be the first piece of the puzzle. So again, prehab warm up three times through, 10 single leg hip thrust on the right, 10 on the left, or single leg glute bridge, 10 VMO or heel elevated squat, and then 45 second side plank right, 45 side second side plank left. And we're gonna do that quick, and then we're gonna get into this workout with our little bonus options. Erica, how long did this workout take you? Do tell. Of course, I'm adding the bonus to it. All the dolphin tours are going by, gang. All right, so. started. Doesn't count if Willie doesn't get us started. <laughs> Whoops. No, I don't need to take my EKG right now, but thank you. Thanks for checking. Bear called. Nice, Erica. Seven, 17, 18. This is a, it's going to be a little bit of a party workout, Erica. I, I always look at the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and I'm like, oh, that's not going to be bad. And then you get going and you're like, sweet goodness. Whoop. That is, that's how we started off always. Always looking strong. All right, so last activation, we're going to be in warming up those glutes, that booty. Then you're going to move into your core activation. So I want that shoulder stacked over that elbow. That's going to protect that shoulder. Makes it challenging again. If you keep together here, which I did two, one. If this is too much, guys, you can always drop that foot behind us like it's a little bit of a kick. In a 45 seconds is too much, you can always accumulate 45 seconds. All right, little bear. Bear's like, I'm not doing any side planks, but thank you. Great job, guys. We have 15 seconds left here. Try not to have that head drop like I just had it. I want to be straight, but five seconds. You guys are going to have two more times through that warm up. 10 single leg hip thrust right, 10 single leg hip thrust left, or single leg glute bridge, 
10 VMO squats or heel elevated squats, 45 second side plank right, 45 second side plank left. We got this, guys. All right, let's talk about our workout. Although the bonus now, Erica, I'm questioning. Erica's very, very fit. <laughs> Never question the bonus, especially after yesterday's workout because we just went for it yesterday. Um, I'm going to leave it as a bonus. Maybe someone else was in the car for 20 hours yesterday and they need a brutal workout today. So we're doing a version of the Mayhem Athlete 30. You guys heard me mention you check out mayhemathlete.com for some awesome programming. But we're doing a variation of that with some little added bonus. If you want to take that bonus, you are more than welcome. <laughs> if you are feeling it today. <laughs> if you're ready to get after it. And if you just uh, want to take it easy, we're here for you. So movement. Movement's medicine regardless. We just want to get everybody moving the best that we can. So... Here is our body weight and minimal equipment version today. Your rep scheme is going to be 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And that's gonna be the M30 version is sit-ups. I threw in the bonus of sit-up to press, which is with a dumbbell. You have that lawnmower style hold on the dumbbell, meaning your hands are on either side of the dumbbell if you happen to have a dumbbell, and you sit up and press it to the sky. So it'll make it super challenging on your core and your shoulders, and we're also having uh, bear crawl or handstand walk or hold variation today. So you'll have that as an option as well. It's going to be tough on the shoulders and the core. We are here to party today. <laughs> that is for sure. So you're going to have those sit-ups or sit-ups to press if you want to add that bonus. And then you're going to move into box or chair step-ups. I have a bench today, so, you know, work with what you have. And if you want to add the dumbbell to that, you can but that is optional, just another bonus. I might be here all day doing these sit-ups or presses, but <laughs> here for it, let's go gang. <laughs> so here's the kicker. After you perform that 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, after each round, you are going to complete a 100 foot bear crawl or 50 foot handstand walk if you're comfortable inverted or if you don't have a place you can walk like myself and I don't intend on eating favors today. <laughs> I used to have those mats, but they're under the, the rack right now. So again, we're just making do. We make do with our fitness. So you can opt in for, I'm going to say anywhere from a 30 second to one minute handstand hold. I put 45 seconds down right in the middle there because thinking about how long it's going to take to do that handstand walk. So you can also opt for a 45 second handstand hold or plank hold if you don't have a place to bear crawl or handstand hold. So we'll say handstand hold or plank hold um, if you are more comfortable with that. So let's talk about these movements really quickly. Or it doesn't necessarily have to be quickly, but <laughs> alas. <laughs> 17, Willie, did you do this at lunch? Or are you doing this after? I know you're doing your Prehab after. All right, so the sit ups, guys, you have your feet together, or your knees nice and wide, the old butterfly style sit up. If you're doing body weight, you may do them like so, or those knees together. Again, if you're new on this fitness journey and you need a little assistance, you need to have those feet held down by something or someone, you're more than welcome to do that too. If you want to add the uh, added bonus here, one of my favorite movements we've been doing recently. Long bow or hold style of the dumbbell on the sit up. These are super challenging guys, so don't underestimate this movement. Movement, use the weight accordingly. You sit up, press to the step. I know in advance that I will have to break these up. It's going to be super challenging on the board today, but again, here for it. Erica, this is probably going to take me double the time. <laughs> oh, nice, Willie. What, um, how long did it take? All right, so. Then you're going to move into your box, chair, bench, whatever you have available. Step up. So what that's going to look like is you just want to extend those hips at the top. If you have any knee pain, definitely pick something lower, even if it is a much smaller step. We don't want you to feel any pain on these step ups. Just make sure you send those hips at the top. 
you're going to alternate those feet. If you want to grab your dumbbell, you can grab your dumbbell, grab that dumbbell up there. Extend those hips at the top. So let's talk about our bear crawl real quick. 2118, heck yes. Nice, Willie. All right, guys, let's talk about this bear crawl. There's two variations of a bear crawl. So there's a bear crawl if you're trying to work towards a handstand walk, like if you're just working on, you can be working towards a handstand walk and do the other variation, but this bear crawl variation will build your shoulder endurance because it's more inverted. So I'm gonna show you that version first. The second version, it's just great core strength. It's great for everything, but it's less of that shoulder fatigue working towards a handstand walk. So if you wanted to do the bear crawl and you're working towards a handstand walk option, you're going to go feet wide. You're going to walk with hands on almost like an inchworm. But on this bear crawl, I keep my knees straight and I try to keep my shoulders over my wrists and my hips as close as possible because you're just working on more inversion style that way. Uh, Willie, the bonus is going to take eight years. I'll be here for eight years. <laughs> See you in eight years. That's what happens. You lock me in a car for an entire day, and then all of a sudden, the whole week, I'm like, let's do fitness. <laughs> oh, my. Erica, you should have done this. Your fitness level is you should have done this one. Don't worry. You can save it and do it later. It's your level of fitness. Well, mate, 300 reps is a little crazy, but, you know. We are crazy sometimes. All right, guys, this other bear crawl option. I showed you handstand walk bear crawl option if you're working up towards that. Other bear crawl option, you come into this tabletop position. Then you elevate those knees off the ground, and it's basically going to walk like a hip. So you're trying to keep that core nice and tight. You're bending those arms a little bit more. So it's less uh, progression into a handstand walk, more of just core strengthening. Erica, what version of bear crawl did you do? I mean, there's several ways to bear crawl. <laughs> not what is that a uh, that expression? Something about a cat. Well, there's not just one way to bear crawl. <laughs> so there. All right, guys. If you are not bear crawling, or you're like myself, you don't have a place to handstand walk safely. You can do a handstand hold or a plank hold for 45 seconds. That plank hold can be with your arms completely out. It can be on your elbows. Or handstand hold against a wall certainly probably not gonna i don't know that i could freestand 45 seconds either <laughs> what do you call a fake noodle an impasta <laughs> that's funny <laughs> i love food puns and jokes that's fabulous tucker good one <laughs> an impasta ha 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 all right guys so As you guys have heard me say many times, I'll probably be back here doing a handstand hold. When you're doing a handstand hold, I've seen so many adults crumble to the ground, <laughs> and humans in general, myself included when I first started. If you kick up into a handstand, you want to think about pressing against the ground. In gymnastics, they call it blocking. You want active shoulders. Because if you kick up and you're like a limp noodle, like an impasta, <laughs> you will fall to the ground. So really want you to think about pressing against the ground, pull your upside down, keeping that gaze right in front of you. So just the way that I'm standing here and looking this way, that's how I want you to look there. You see a lot of this. That's a little more taxing on your neck and your spine. <laughs> Larry, thank you for, I mean, I love that joke. Tucker came with good jokes today. <laughs> Erica did the low bear crawl. <laughs> Erica, I know. I, it, if I call an audible on this, I call an audible, but I'm just here for a try. You know, here for a good fitness time. See what we can do. Again, sorry, hopefully I'll have that cord back tomorrow, guys, so it won't be like you're in a dark movie theater here. Larry, I know an embossed gap. Again, that got me. Both versions are good, Erica. They're just a little bit different. You can probably move a lot faster in the lower bear crawl, meaning that you're going to get that heart rate higher. So they both have their benefits. All right. You guys need to take up the handstand hold real quick. Shoulders up. 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 Sho
Remember, guys, you want to think. Press, press, press against the ground, but also, you've heard me say this as well, if you picked up into that handstand, we don't want that back arched. You want to think about tucking that tailbone under, because if you are eventually trying to handstand walk, maybe you're not. Inversion is just great for detoxification. It's great for everything. Inversion is good for you. It's good for your blood flow. But if you are eventually trying to get to a handstand walk, the reason we don't want our back arched here is you're going to have the most proficiency handstand walking when you have those shoulders stacked over those wrists and those hips stacked over those shoulders. There are different ways to handstand walk, but the most efficient way is stacking all of those things. Larry, how's your week going? Did you have a good Taco Tuesday yesterday? <laughs> all right, guys, any questions? We're going to get right to this because this sit up to press, don't underestimate this movement. I could be here till tomorrow. <laughs> Alas. Any final questions? All right, we'll move this over a smidge. Move this over a smidge. And we're going to rock and roll. Here. Again, I might be here for 10 years, but it's all right. Team. Although maybe, I don't know if I can read print that small. I was thinking maybe I could step up and chat with you guys as I step. It's going well, Larry. It's been so far so good. So again, guys, work out. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Again, we're going to do So workout, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, sit-ups or sit-ups to press, then box step-ups or dumbbell box step-ups, and then after each round you're going to complete a 100-foot bear crawl or a 50-foot handstand walk or 45-second or plank or handstand hold. So again, this is going to be a party team. <laughs> Trying to chat. I'll, I'll take that with you guys. Any questions, Jane? Yeah. All right, no questions, so rock and roll. I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> Again, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Sit up or sit up to press, box step up, or way to box step up, and then you're going to have that 100-foot bear crawl or 50-foot handstand walk or 45-second plank hold or handstand hold after each. All right, guys, tell me a story. I'll come check in on you uh, in between some reps here. And I'll give us a count on here in a second. All 
All right, we're golden. We're golden. Let's do the darn thing. You know, it's like, how long can you put it off? There's no putting it off. No putting off in this today. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging with me. Erica Will, you have permission to call an audible if you... Oh, hi in London. I have to give you guys the, uh, the garage gym tour. This is like the patio tour. I have a garage gym spot. I'm trying to get my cord figured out for over there for the next two days, actually. All right, guys. If you need to call an audible, just let me know. <laughs> we call an audible changing the workout in the middle. You get like one per week. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're going to start in, uh, I'm going to start at the 19 minute mark in 10 seconds. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Sit up, step up, handstand walk or handstand hold. Let's go in two. One. Starting with those. Four. Erica Willie, I appreciate you very much. Let's go for us. short breaks here. As best we can. Don't underestimate the shoulder fatigue of these sit up and press. We really already did our numbers calculation. All right, 30 about 20 to go. Trying to get set to 10 here. more and we hit that 50 mark. Erica Willie, oh, Larry, I would probably, if I had a lighter dumbbell, would have chosen 25 for this one. Because I know the shoulder fatigue is going to be real with that bear crawl or handstand walk, handstand hold on top of this. And as I really said, it's 150 reps total. So if you are doing this with the press version, I would say anywhere from 15 to 25.
on more long lower style hold and that dumbbell too. Feel that in the shoulders good. So be smart on the way to your this workout. Now we have 50 step ups. You can slip shoulders halfway if you're doing the weighted version or just switch all rounds. So 50 step ups, guys. You got this. Almost that way. That's 25 more here on the shoulder. Great job to you guys. Nice work, eh? Now we're going to do that 45 second plank hold, handstand hold, or handstand walk with bear crawl. Onto our set of 40s. Oh, thanks, Erica. Hanging on, hanging on. So, 40 will come. 40 sit up to press or regular sit ups. 40 step ups. Back to that hand to hold or plank hold for bear crawling hand to hand. So many choices, guys. 40 reps here. Let's go. Hello, shoulders.
try my best to stick with six to ten here. Make sure you shake it left holders. Okay, that poor guy. You got this. Set it down, set it easy up. Come on, Nick. holding that dumbbell in that position while you're pressing up. Get a little mini pump here in Willie as well. Might have to add some sit-ups to presses to that free app today. 20 down, 20 to go. Come on, Jake. We got this. So our shoulders at 20. Big job on that. Definitely be a little crappy to pull up from 40 step ups. So guys, start on number two. Great work, gang. Switch shoulders. We got that for the 740 here, way over the hump. It's going to be smooth sailing after this. Halfway on this. Got to get the point.
Fifteen. Run. Forty-five second plank hold, handstand hold, fifty-foot bear crawl, or handstand hall. crawl. Crawl. Eilish. Nice, Eilish. Heck yeah. Round of 30, here we come. Eilish, you having a good day so far? Good week.
Almost to our last rounds here. 45 second handstand hold, plank hold, bear crawler, handstand walk. Thanks, Eilish. We're almost there. I'm 20. Remember to breathe on those holes and those walks. When you get stuck, keep breathing. All right, guys. 20s. Oh, the next step is going to fly. Let's go. Come on. 20 sit up. Let's do a suppressor. Let's go over here. Got 10 step ups with the dumbbell on the right. It's not the left. Come on, guys. Finish this workout strong. You made it this far. Come on. Come on, crew. I see you finish, son. Let's go. 45 second hand, stand, hold the plank, hold. Hand, stand, walk, and back, 
Made it to the home stretch. Set of tens. Here we go. Thanks, Willie. Thanks, Eilish. Last set. We got it, guys. Oh, we made it this far. Let's see how it feels. Feels so good. Come on, babe. Tens. We got this. Ten set up or sit up and press. Ten total. Forty five second hands to hold. Michael, give us your walk for a crawl. Here we are, gang. Started at 19, so oh, that was a long one. I start. I ended at 47.45. If I started at 20, that would be 27. 28.45 was my time. Team, that was rough. <laughs> Good rough. Great job, guys. Amazing work. So just finished up 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Body weight would have been sit up. I opted for bonus sit up to press with that dumbbell. In retrospect, you have, I would say, like a 15 to 25 pound dumbbell. That's going to be plenty. Shoulder fatigue was real because time under tension from holding that dumbbell here is using more shoulders than you think to that press. And again, you heard me say, guys, that sit up to press, you have to make sure you're not pressing that dumbbell here. We want to be pressing it straight up. You don't want any unnecessary stress on those shoulders. So that's why I keep saying press up. So it's 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Body weight version is sit up. Uh, bonus version, minimal equipment would have been sit up to press. Then after that, you're going into 50 step ups. Again, body weight, chair, box, whatever you have around. If you wanted bonus, throw that dumbbell on the shoulder. You saw me split. Uh, I, if it was 50 reps, I did 25 with the dumbbell rest on the right, 25 with the left. And then after each set, after the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, you're either going to do, I did a 45 second hand sand hold. You could also some plank hold if you're not comfortable inverted, or you could do a 100 foot bear crawl or a 50 foot handstand walk. So all of the options today. Aria, my chill cat, how you doing? <laughs> Girl, the humidity, if you can't tell from like the makeup under my eyes, is real, <laughs> but I love it. 
But guys, I did get that portable cold plunge. It's uh, called the cryo spring. I'm gonna try to hook that up tomorrow. So it'll be my post-workout recovery. I'm kind of excited about that. I'll have to show you guys. I think I'll have to keep you live so that I get in the tub. Ooh, Aria, how was the bodybuilding? Aria, these sit up to press feel like bodybuilding. Willie, I'm telling you, for your post tab today, throw in some sit up to press. If you've never done a sit up to press, it's that dumbbell in that lawnmower position. If it's too much, I'd pick a much lighter dumbbell because you're gonna feel your core working too. You're gonna feel like your feet wanna come up off the ground. So like 10X is not having your feet held down by anything if you're new to this um, or if you want a very specific core challenge you do not have your feet weighted down by anything and you keep that dumbbell in that lawnmower position simply sit up and then as i mentioned before you press it straight up in the air not out in front of you again we don't want to stress the shoulders in the in the wrong spots if that dumbbell is super heavy so sit up to press the step ups is where it actually elevated my heart rate quite a bit so you always have to think about if you're recruiting those bigger muscle groups like your legs that's gonna get that heart rate nice and high. It's deceptive. You're like, oh, it's just a step up. And then you're like, oh my gosh, my heart rate. <laughs> I felt that on the step ups today. And then again, we had the uh, handy dandy handstand holds or plank holds. I can't get past saying this over and over again today. There's nothing with the plank in it. <laughs> in my watch, I keep it on the inside of my wrist because it's easier to see when you're working out, see your heart rate and stuff like that. But I was like having a hard time finding the clock inverted. You know how that goes. Oh my gosh. Aria, that makes me so happy. Oh, the girl. It's like music to my ears. You got a de four. Oh my gosh. Deadlift PR to Aria. High fives, girl. Yes, that's awesome. She got a new PR for at max at 205. Let's go, chill cat. <laughs> I can't believe I waited this long to tell you, Aria, that every time the emoji comes up through this program, because I have this uh, live program, EVMUX is awesome. But uh, <laughs> every time certain emojis come through, for some reason, it won't. It only shows some emojis. Like, it showed your fire emoji and your happy emoji. But the cat in the box emoji comes up, and on my side, it says, chill cat, chill cat. <laughs> so every time Aria says hello, I see chill cat, chill cat. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, Aria, that is awesome. You have to send me a picture. Yay. And congrats on the, the deadlift PR, Chill Cat. <laughs> Chill Cat PR. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, gang. Well, that was a rough one. Like, good rough, but super rough today. And don't sleep on the prehab and post-up. So I did one round with you guys. So I'm going to finish my post-up now. And I, my, my butt, you know, say booty. No, my butt is going to be on fire. So kind of our booty game. Let's say that again. Booty gains post-up. So you have a single leg hip thrust or single leg glute bridge, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And you're going into 10 heel elevated squats, also known as a VMO squat from knees over toes guy. Then you're Go on 45 seconds, side plank right, side plank left. Because if you've done this workout, you just can't escape planks in your core today. So we've got core and booty, prehab, post-hab. And then we had that almost 30 minutes. Erica Willie, can you believe that? Woo, doggy. Larry, you guys are the best for hanging around the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 workout. Balake, what is happening? Oh, Blake, I know you never, never sleep on the booty games, right? <laughs> So, well, okay, your prehab today, since you asked again, <laughs> is three times through, 10 single leg hip thrust, which those are amazing. If you have not tried the single leg hip thrust, again, if you don't have a bench or something to support your shoulder blades, you can do glute bridge, uh, but really, really squeeze those glutes, that posterior, one second pause at the top is going to make you feel like you're on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. You've seen that movie, you know, that's what these booty games feel like. Blake, have you done the single leg hip thrust on the bench? I shall show you if you have not, because it is awesome. Then you're going into 10 heel elevated squat, 45 seconds side plank right, 45 seconds side plank left. Larry, you have a wonderful day. Larry, I'm so thankful you took the time to join us today. Thank you. We're always so thankful to have you here. So this little bear, she is, uh, she's cooling down on the pavers somewhere. So she's there and she appreciates you saying hi. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I mean, Aria, since you just got here too, don't sleep on these guys. These are awesome. So I'm going to throw up. This was our prehab. I'll show you guys post tab too. I always do one round in the warm up and then I'll do the rest after. But these, I warmed up with three flake and I'm like, why is my butt on fire already? So that's why we do them. The, uh, I love, you guys know I love single dumbbell, single leg movements. Makes me work. It's all sorts of those assisted muscles work. So this is how this works. You have your arms out in the seat, supporting that upper back and shoulder blade. You're going to walk those feet out to form a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to now drop my booty to the ground. If you want to support your back a little higher than you can, I'm just trying to have my support arms up the back. So now I'm going to extend that right leg out. Squeeze that booty in that posterior. I feel like my booty my hands are well over. The idea is to try to get your body parallel to the ground. Drop it all the way back down. Squeeze up. Pause that one to three seconds. Ten of those. Then you're going to switch legs. And squeeze. Bringing those hips to the side. Whole knee mat ball. And back to the movie quotes. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Holy mackerel, I'm on fire. <laughs> Block it, I'm telling you, add that to the list. That's going to really, really help the uh, glute hamstring activation. I feel that in the hamstrings, glute, that posterior. If you're like me, I've had, always had some hamstring issues. Always need to get that glute firing before I do any sort of deadlifting, hinging, that sort of movement. Or you're just here for the booty gains. I would throw those single leg hip thrusts in there all the time. <laughs> but like, hey, did you see Blake? Could you see from there? So if you didn't hear, I know it's hard to hear here. I have a, a mic coming. You're just going to have the, your arms out in a T. You're going to have those scaps supported on that bench. And then you're just going to drop those hips to the ground. You want to walk those feet out into that reverse tabletop position. So you have a 90 degree bend in that knee. Then you're going to extend one leg out and then you're going to drive up you want to get that body parallel to the ground you don't want to see those hips sag right or left and you are really going to feel that leg that's grounded on the ground that's supporting the weight the core the booty one to three second pause at the top is going to burn <laughs> good burn <laughs> healthy burn oh <laughs> I gotcha, gotcha. I didn't even see. Oh, that's what you. Ah, that's what you said. Like, I didn't even. I just did. It glassed. It, I'm just. It was over my head. I didn't see it. <laughs> I thought you misspelled a word. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Still, one booty jeeks on fire. I must finish this, uh, this post tab. All right. Blake, did you do any fitness today? getting in any fitness. Ah, oh, Blake, see, I can't even see with this new program. You guys, send me a message where I need to add more wrenches. There's a couple. I know Eilish, Blake, there was another one. Was it maybe it was Alex? Um, Aria, I don't know. I have to see. It's been so long. I, ha I can't see that side anymore. <laughs> Just because of this program. This program is the best, though. It's amazing. It allows me to put these words at the bottom. <laughs> ah, ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Blake, don't get, <laughs> don't get uneven booty cheeks. Yeah, yeah. We want to, what are we, booty symmetry club here, Blake, or just trying our best? Just trying our best. It happens. <laughs> I tore my hamstring in college, hurtling, well, steeplechase, to be precise. And I definitely, one cheek probably went down in that time frame. <laughs> but then we're all about balance. We bring that stuff back. Oh, hey, mini pump is great, Blake. As long as you can move, we're here for it, right? Well, guys, amazing job today. You crushed it. We had an awesome prehab, post-tab. Then we had our 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 at Mayhem Athlete 30 workout. It was awesome. And we will be back tomorrow. What day is it tomorrow, guys? Thursday. Thursday is supposed to be an afternoon session. 
Um, I'm just see if my dad's going to be here using the pool tomorrow. I might have to relocate for us tomorrow afternoon. So I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> But did you land in the water? <laughs> All right, crew. As always, super thankful. Thank you for taking the time to join today. Awesome pre and post app. Awesome MAME athlete workout. We will be back tomorrow, 2.30, for more fitness. Unless you guys want to fitness in the morning. Oh, I see. In the water, yes. <laughs> uh blake let's see i always like the um the tracks that had a lot of the uh, steeple play steeple chase um water pits they put little rubber duckies in it's kind of funny <laughs> no no it was while i was training but uh i have definitely left a uh, little misstep here and there blake if we're being real definitely had some damp shoes you know some of the steeple chasers you see like they just do like the little like pitter patter out there there were some solid splashes that's for sure <laughs> will you have the best day good luck on the prehab let me know how it goes crew thank you so much for taking the time to join erica thank you so much oh erica you're amazing you guys stay safe in the storms tonight praying everyone stays safe here if you guys need anything if you have any questions about fitness or whatnot Blake, thanks for taking the time to stop by. Erica, Willie, you guys are amazing. Thank you for the scout report today. Aria, chill cat. <laughs> Good luck on the mini pump today as well. <laughs> Larry, gang, thank you so much for taking the time today. You guys are amazing. As always, super thankful for you, crew. And I will see you all back tomorrow at 2.30. I can do either, Willie. You guys let me know. Post it, let me know. All right, team. Have an awesome day.